The U.S. state of Iowa holds a special place in U.S.-China relations. In 1980, a year after diplomatic relations were established, a delegation of Chinese governors visited the U.S. The trip included a stop in Iowa. Back then, Kenneth Quinn was working for the Iowa governor at the time, Robert Ray. Now, the leader of that delegation was the governor of Guangdong province. His name was Xi Jinping. He's the father of President Xi Jinping. Fast forward five years to the spring of 1985, and following in his father's footsteps, Xi Jinping, then a county-level official, led a delegation to the U.S. That trip also included a stop in Iowa. At that time, Terry Branstad was the governor of Iowa. He was in his early 30s. He was only a party secretary of one of the counties in our sister state, Hebei province. His, his business card said, Feed Association of Shishashuang. Part of the trip saw the delegation stay with families in their homes in the city of Muscatine. Xi Jinping stayed in this house. Luca Baroni was the coordinator of the visit. I think we you know, put together something that was unique because it really gave him a, a, an opportunity to have a slice of Americana as it is. Sarah Landy served as the executive director of Iowa Sister States, a nonprofit that builds Iowa's partnerships with the world. I think he loved talking to the young people. The home mom uh, taught him about popcorn. It was just sort of like home hospitality personified. Fast forward to 2011, and Xi Jinping was now China's vice president. Terry Branstad was again serving as governor of Iowa. Branstad met with Xi in China, and it was Xi who reminded Branstad of their previous meeting. And he spent 45 minutes telling me how much he loved Iowa. He had his itinerary from the 85 trip, and he calls us old friends. Xi Jinping had an official visit to Washington, D.C. planned for early 2012. He requested a stop to Iowa to be added. They said, well, why are you going to Iowa? And when Xi Jinping told the story, he just pointed to the old friends like this and said, that's why I'm coming to Iowa. So in February 2012, Xi Jinping, shortly before becoming president, once again traveled to Iowa. The tour saw Xi return to Muscatine. He said, you were first people we met in America. You are America to me. As part of that 2012 trip, she visited Rick Kimberly's farm in Maxwell, Iowa. A big part of our discussion was to talk about modern farming and how we do things here. As we were outside, we, we went around and we looked at equipment. And I asked President Xi if he'd like to get in a tractor, and we did. Since that trip, relations between China and the U.S. have continued to face challenges. But the old friends in Iowa remain optimistic that common ground exists. And it's a challenging time right now, but hopefully things will get better. And the personal relationships can go a long ways to kind of overcome some of the challenges and tensions between our two countries. On his 1985 trip, the China delegation also visited San Francisco, this year's APEC host city. Nearly 40 years on, Xi Jinping returns, but the spotlight on him will be significantly brighter this time around. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.